so far we have talked about uh, the introductory part about the staphylococcus species now in this video especially we will be talking about the infection we will be talking about the infection or the mode of infection and what kind of diseases uh, the Staphylococcus aureus actually cause. Okay, so the infections that Staphylococcus aureus can cause are majorly of two, uh, actually two different types, majorly of two different types. One is simply called as infection, so let me write it here. One is simply called as infection. So this is the first kind, simple termed as infection. Okay, so this is the first kind, infection. Now, infection means if we are having Staphylococcus aureus there. So, let's say one Staphylococcus aureus, it enters into our body. So, let us uh, provide the body system here. So, let's say this is the whole body of ours. So, let's, let's do this. So, let's say this is the body. So, this is the body. Okay, and the Staphylococcus aureus enters into our body, and then what it will do? It will colonize inside our body. So in inside our body, what it can do? It can colonize. So from one, it can produce many more Staphylococcus aureus like that. Now this particular phenomena is called the infection uh, phenomena. So in this case, this one Staphylococcus aureus invading inside our body and it is making this colonization. So let me write it here. It is called as colonization. Now this colonization will result in the different uh, damage of our host cell tissue and all these things, right? So this is a kind of problem that, that can be associated with the Staphylococcus. Usually we can see this kind of problem regarding our uh, infection in our skin, most of the cases. But uh, the infection in GI tract and other regions are caused by some other mode of the Staphylococcus activity. And this is the second mode of Staphylococcus activity and it is called, so let me write the second mode, it is called the intoxication intoxication now in this intoxication is different than the infection it is largely and solely caused by the toxin released by the staphylococcus aureus we all know we have already talked about that the staphylococcus aureus can excrete some toxin which uh, is called uh, the exotoxin so let's say if this is the staphylococcus and it can release a toxin outside so let us let us talk about the toxin as this red thing so this this is the toxin that that are generated by this Staphylococcus. Now, as this toxin is generated by the Staphylococcus here, so these are the exotoxins. So, exotoxins produced by Staphylococcus uh, aureus, for example. Now, this exotoxin can enter into our body. Now, if this toxin enters into our body, then in those cases, this toxin can cause diseases or different kinds of symptoms. Like, for example, so if I if I drag this. Uh, different reasons what, what, what are the different symptoms it can be of severe tissue damage tissue damage can be a part of that okay and also uh, different kind of problems different kinds of uh, what you can say majorly it is associated with tissue damage except for that uh, immune system destruction so immune so immune system problems so these are the different types of problems associated with uh, this kind of intoxication by Staphylococcus. Okay, and this is solely due to the presence of exotoxin. In the previous case, the infection is solely due to this colonization side, right? So these are the things that we have already studied. Now the third kind of infection that it can also provide, and this is due to the combinatory action of both infection and intoxication. So, in this case, we will be having infection plus intoxication all together. Both of them will act on the same time inside the host. So, we are having this, uh, say, this is the Staphylococcus species. So, we have Staphylococcus and it enters into the body. So, let me draw the body again in this case. So, let's say here, this is the healthy body. Now, when it enters into this body, so they start to colonize inside the body. So as they are starting to start to colonize, so they will start colonizing there as well as they are secreting that exotoxin. So all these things are going on at the same time they are secreting those exotoxins. Now this exotoxin will further lead effects like immune system problems and tissue damage. Right? So these are the three different modes of infection that are caused by uh, the Staphylococcus species. Now let us talk about the different diseases that are generally caused by Staphylococcus. And the diseases caused by Staphylococcus are of different regions. For example, 
so let me talk about that for example let's say the first example we are going to talk about uh, the diseases the first one is skin problems skin diseases sorry for my handwriting though the skin diseases that are caused by them now what kind of skin diseases that we are talking about uh, skin and soft tissue infections can be done for example if I look uh, the different examples for that and the examples are uh, furuncles for example so furuncles uh, are the examples and also cellulitis cellulitis is a type of example and obviously there are different wound infection like traumatic or surgical infections must be associated so this kind of infections actually occurred by uh, by by staphylococcus epidermidis stain remember epidermidis epidermidis strain because the staphylococcus epidermidis stain usually present in our skin so they present so it's a natural flora of our skin right you know that it's a natural flora of our skin so in normal times they won't produce any harm but if there is any wound through the wound they can infect so through wound they can actually infection infection can be caused right so that's the basic goal of the skin diseases now the second type of diseases associated with all these things the second diseases associated are uh, musco or, or, or you can say muscle muscular diseases actually so musculoskeletal diseases actually the example of this muscle uh, diseases are uh, arthritis and osteomyelitis so these are the simple examples arthritis we know very common so arthritis can be caused by different uh, types of agents but this is one of the dangerous agent, agent to cause arthritis it's a staphylococcus arthritis right so arthritis is a type of condition and also osteomyelitis so osteo sorry let's put the M in a better form yes this is the M uh, O-I-E myelitis l-i-t-i-s so osteomyelitis okay the third type of diseases they can cause the third kind of diseases they can cause are associated with uh, cardiovascular system so it's a cardiovascular cardiovascular system now for this cardiovascular system the disease they usually cause are uh, endocarditis this is not that much common but still they can cause endo sorry endocarditis okay and uh, again they can cause gastrointestinal tract diseases like renal carbuncles and also lower urinary tract infections so let me write the last type and the last type we are going to talk about here is sorry very much or yeah now in this case it's a GI infection or GI tract infection now in this GI tract infection we can have diseases like say let me let me take this color it can be a u lower urinary tract infection lower urinary tract infection okay and also renal carbuncle actually these are not GI tract infection actually it's a it's a urinogenital tract infection so I must put here so it's a correction here you must put UG or urinogenital tract infections okay because lower urinary tract infection as well as the renal carbuncle both of them both of them are associated with this urinogenital tract okay so these are the diseases except for that they are they are causing the toxic shock syndrome remember I've already talked about the toxic so shock syndrome or TSS this is a very dangerous type of symptoms that are activating uh, the T lymphocyte in our body massively as a result of that they will produce more and more uh, T lymphocytes and those T lymphocytes will start secreting different types of chemical mediators like cytokines now those cytokines are going to trouble our body because the cytokines are chemical mediators and they can eventually harm the tissues associated with these regions right so this is the kind of dangerous disease and also scaled skin syndrome and food poisoning can be caused by staphylococcus aureus so that's a very important point also I, I forgot to mention that the food poisoning is associated so let let me write it here 
food poisoning is associated with food poisoning food poisoning is associated with staphylococcus aureus largely largely associated with staphylococcus aureus okay and this toxic shock syndrome is again another type of dangerous symptoms so these are the different diseases and infections caused by uh, the mechanisms as we've already talked about the mechanisms can be infections only it can be intoxication only or it can be a uh, combined effect of infection as well as infection okay so that's it i hope that's helpful thank you